Hello, my name is Max, and I'm here today to take you on a trip around Africa and tell you about my last safari. I will bring you around Africa and show you some of the amazing animals and wonderful people I took with me. So bring your water bottles and bring your snacks. Don't forget a hat and enjoy the show. We will start our safari by landing in Nairobi, Kenya. Then we shall drive down to the border of Tanzania where my friend Salvatore will pick us up. Then we shall go to Nagorgor Crater, Oldupai Gorge, the Serengeti, and all the other safari parks. Have fun. I want to introduce the people who went on safari with me and show you some of the amazing animals we saw. The safari members on my trip were, starting on the top left, Salvatore, our Tanzanian guide, he's from Mount Kilimanjaro. My dad, Eric, my mom, Rebecca, and in front with me, my sister, Sophie. Grandpa Bob took this picture. Seeing a leopard in a tree from only 20 feet away is a very rare sight, but watching a leopard climb down from the tree and look you straight in the eye, that's so rare that even guides might never see this happen. My thought at that moment was, wow, look how strong and beautiful that leopard is. Elephants are amazing creatures. Their hide is two inches thick and so hard that if a person punched an elephant as hard as possible, they could break their hand. Elephants usually travel in herds to protect their babies and themselves from predators. Male elephants can use their tusks to knock down trees and dig up plants, as well as being used for self-defense. We saw this large baobab tree, and Salvatore told us that elephants had hollowed out this tree to find water inside. One of the ways that hippos have adapted to their environment is by producing a red sweat around their face that is a sunblock. A crocodile can eat one meal and not eat for a whole nother year. These crocodiles look very dangerous, and they are. Wait, don't get too close! When we went to Ngorogoro Crater, we saw wildebeest that traveled across the crater in one day and all the way back the next. We were very, very fortunate to witness this. We started following a lioness who was walking down the road ahead of us. All of a sudden, she crouched down close to the, to the ground, and Salvatore told us to be very quiet. He pointed ahead to a herd of Thompson gazelle that was off the road grazing in the bushes. The lioness crept forward, hidden by the tall grass next to the road. She pounced into the grass, and the gazelle started to run into the road in front of us. The lion's probably running at about 30 miles per hour, pounced onto the back of, a, of the gazelle, and they both disappeared into a cloud of dust. When the dust settled, the lioness was holding the still-moving gazelle in its mouth, and we watched as she carried it on into the bushes about five feet away from us and set it down where we could watch. We sat amazed as the lioness started to devour the Thompson gazelle. My main thought after witnessing this part of nature was, wow, this is amazing. By the way, the reason this lioness is wearing a collar is that scientists have been tracking her around the Serengeti.
awesome time on our safari. I hope you come back next time and have more fun on our next adventure. See you next time. Goodbye.